Hey Collective, it's your girl Mermaid Prophetess bringing you another collective reading. Let's see what's going on my beautiful Divine Feminines, my beautiful Divine Masculines. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> oh we Divine Feminine, I cannot. Energy out the gate is just... Who we? We got the Four of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and we have the Empress at the bottom. Okay, so strong Taurus, Libra energy. Definitely strong Libra energy with two uh, air, with two air cards coming out for sure. And then we have this Moon energy at the bottom as well. This is some very aggressive energy. Let's get into this. Okay, Queen of Wands at the bottom now. Divine Feminine, this is giving me like somebody, this could be some kind of spell work or something like that with this moon showing up. This is like somebody thought you were down and done, you were over with, they had gotten rid of you or something like that. It's like somebody didn't realize that, um, you were just healing, you were just recovering, you were just staying to self. This is almost like, this is almost like somebody tried to put you in a coffin, Divine Feminine, bury you alive, bury your energy. Okay, I just got somebody tried to oppress, oppress your Divine Femininity or something like that. This is almost like somebody tried to oppress your gifts, suppress your gifts. Somebody could have literally tried to oppress you here. Somebody wanted you to feel weaker, Divine Feminine, with this Empress energy. And look at this moon energy here. And look at how this wolf is like growling at this little dog. And it's like Divine Feminine, somebody wanted you to feel weak. Somebody thought you were weak. But it's like you're rejuvenated here. You're brand new here. There could be a Cancer Pisces involved here. Okay, you guys, this is a collective reading. Be sure to take what resonates and discard the rest. Okay, so somebody tried to, I don't like how that energy is coming in. This is like somebody thought that they gave you an ending, Divine Feminine, or ended you specifically. Or like they had broken you down to dust or something. Somebody wanted you to be broken down to dust or something like that we have the knight of pentacles and we have the sun and this is giving me eclipse energy strong leo energy and look at the moon over here and now we have this moon blocking the sun it's like divine feminine somebody tried to block your sunshine here somebody tried to block your happiness with the knight of pentacles this was by creating delays frustrations or something like that there is heavy moon magic here heavy we got the four of wands at the bottom and the three of swords this was about a union with the four of wands and the three of swords this could have been a union with your twin this is heavy spell work oh my god Heavy, heavy, heavy. This was to make sure that the, the doors to this contract would never fully be open. This person regrets doing this. Whoever sent this heavy spell, because this is heavy. Okay, and I'm going to go into this even further. Because this is like somebody didn't want you to be protected. This is like a direct attack assault on an empress here, on an earth angel here. On you, Divine Feminine. And like, somebody didn't expect you to survive this. To emotionally survive this. To mentally survive this. To physically survive this. I just heard mental breakdown. Mental anguish. Somebody wanted you to lose your mind. Whoever did this, this person is in regret. Three of Swords, somebody wanted you to be a third party. This is a third party. There was a third party hiding. Somebody was hidden here, especially with these two moons. Even though this is Leo energy, this is the sun, but this sun is being eclipsed. 
Somebody was doing something during the last eclipse. Somebody could have been doing something with some blood. That vampire energy has been coming up lately. Definitely somebody wanted your heart broken. This is like double manifestations. Offerings being given to block a union here. Literally to block a union here. Whoever was doing all of this towards you, Divine Feminine, this person regrets this. Look at this Nine of Cups. Look at this Nine of Cups. This is supposed to be a wish fulfillment. This wasn't a wish fulfillment at all. At all. And we have this death energy. It's almost like Divine Feminine. They thought they were sending this endings energy, this death, this Scorpio energy your way. And it's like this horse just turned around and came for them. Look at how these people didn't expect this horse to come towards them. They thought they sent this. They thought they sent this angel of death towards you, this endings energy towards you, and now they've gotten themselves caught up in a bind here. And there is a divine masculine here. Strong Pisces energy here as well. Especially with the moons, double Pisces, double Cancer, triple Pisces over here. There's a divine masculine that is in deep regret here. This is a masculine who got into some kind of contract, holding his head, Something wasn't a wish fulfillment. And now that is coming to an end. High Priestess energy at the bottom and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody was doing something here to have this union, this contract put out in the cold here. I didn't even know I had a card reverse here. We got the tower. This is in reverse. Scorpio energy. Somebody didn't expect you to build yourself back up or somebody didn't. Um, so I could have literally tried to send you a tower and this went back. Something backfired here. Child, I can't. Like, this energy is just sick. Let's see. Give me the four swords and the ten of swords. You healed here from a very disgusting, toxic situation, Divine Feminine. Oh my God, my ear is itching. Somebody's very aggressive. This person's yelling and screaming about something not moving fast enough. Fast enough against you. Something's not working. Here you are, rested, well, rejuvenated. What's going on? Something's not working. They've been waiting for this to work. They were studying on how to, this is giving me, I did a reading uh, yesterday about, um, I did a reading yesterday about a divine feminine that they tried to remove. Th this is giving me like almost part two. These people maxed out trying to get rid of you. Look at this Seven of Pentacles. These people were investing, 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 reading books, studying. How do I get rid of you? It's like these people are trying to study your energy. Somebody wanted you to be uh, down bad and distressed for a very long time here. It's like whoever this person is that's doing this, these people are mad, especially a particular person person is pissed because it's not working it's like i paid you all this money this is not working yeah look at this king of wands and the magician okay there's a karmic male here somewhere Somebody didn't know that you were this magician here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Come through spirit. Whoever this is that was trying to put you in this energy, this very aggressive person, this very aggressive karmic energy, could be a karmic feminine. This is the energy that they wanted you in. Okay. Definitely giving coffin energy. This is where they wanted you. 
but it's like you was just resting, rejuvenated. You weren't even bothered about what was going on outside around you. All you knew was you found your comfort place and you're going through your awakening. These people thought that they had you down, finished, mental anguish, mental breakdown, can't clean up after yourself, can't do nothing. They thought they had you over with, insecure to the max, no self-love. They thought you were completely brittle and broken. Somebody thought they broke you down into a fraction, Divine Feminine. And what they did, and they're so mad because they didn't know that you were this magician. Look at this empress. Look at this empress in this deck. This empress is just sitting here like, see, if they would have, if they would have paid attention, they would have known that you move how you move because you are of the divine here. Look at this magician. This is the same person. Look at her. Look at her hair. Look at this. Look at her hair. This is the same person. Somebody didn't know that you were in this magician energy. And all you had to do was speak. And whatever this is, that they're pissed off. This is like somebody literally screaming at their Google occultist or fight a fight with an occultist. Somebody bust out yelling. Why isn't this working? Why isn't this moving? This Knight of Pentacles, this fair work, we don't see any progress. It, it's, it's moving. It's moving too slow. This person is pissed off. Okay, didn't we put Divine Feminine in some kind of coffin? Why is she still here? Why is she still... <laughs> oh, goodness, these people are pathetic. <laughs> I didn't know that you were the magician. They had no idea. You stood up and they were like, whoa. <laughs> they had no idea. There is a karmic masculine here that was heavily involved here. Point blank. This person had a list of things that they would try to list out about you. Somebody act like they had a scroll on you, Divine Feminine. This person, there's some, um, okay, so there is a Divine Masculine here that was just taking orders from people here. It could be a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo involved here. Look at this King of Wands. While he is the king of wands holding this scroll, it's giving me whoever this is in this seven of pentacles energy. This person that's in this book. This is like this person, whoever this king of wands is, it's like he moved based off of this person's beat or something like that. You could have felt like this uh, divine masculine takes orders from people. When the king of wands being underneath the ten of swords, these people ended up taking out this masculine emotionally or something like that. This masculine is going to go through a very ugly ending. He feels like he was manipulated here. Child, what is going on? Queen of Swords at the bottom. Divine Feminine could have spoke the truth about some kind of moon magic or some kind of magic here. Somebody is pissed off that something isn't happening fast enough. The, these lies. If this isn't spell work, this is like um, some kind of um, manipulation through lies. Somebody is mad like why something isn't working, why their manifestations aren't working towards you. Why aren't you in this coffin energy? Okay, why are you over here rested, rejuvenated, getting your beauty sleep and waking up and doing your thing, Divine Feminine? Somebody is bothered by that. You showed up as the Empress, baby. You showed up as the Empress in magician energy. The Empress already is a great manifester. The Empress already attracts all abundance anyways. Without even moving, the, in, the Empress attracts these things energetically. So you put the Empress in magician energy, baby. Whatever these, whoever this is is trying to throw this throw this dark moon energy at you, this frustration, this delay energy at you, this setback energy, this heartbreak energy, this energy that's trapping some kind of twin flame union, or you got a divine man. This masculine regrets not walking through these doors with divine feminine. It's like the doors to fulfill a contract here, or this masculine regrets abandoning a contract or killing a contract or something like that. They wanted to block out your happiness. What's the moon? <laughs> they could never. 
when I say they could never divine feminine, they could never. We talking about what's the moon, baby? What is the moon? The star. See, divine feminine didn't have to move against all of this aggressive, nasty energy. Okay, with all these stars above divine feminine, your angels checked right on in and made sure that everything was right for you, divine feminine. So I was trying to figure out how you, like how you still divinely guided? How are you still light? How are you still able to manifest which wish fulfillment? How are you healed? How are you in this nine of pentacles energy? This is like divine feminine. You will always have these nine pentacles. How is this happening for you? Things are going to change for you quickly here, Divine Feminine. With the Eight of Wands, there's Nine of Pentacles energy, Eight of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. Some of you Divine Feminines, you have another soulmate coming in. How are you still in this star energy? That could be an Aquarius involved. We got Aquarius and Pisces. Could be a Cusper involved here. You're in this star energy, so somebody could have been manifesting on you, Divine Feminine, for two moon cycles. Because something didn't work, so they just did it again. I tried to bind your heart or take control of it. Yeah, look at that. We got the King of Pentacles. We got the Knight of Pentacles up here. So this King of Pentacles is paired up with this Knight of Pentacles. So whoever this karmic is that's doing this, uh, this work here, there could be a, a Scorpio involved here. This dark manipulation, creating fears, being deceptive, trying to shadow who you are, make it seem like you're not who you say you are. There's multiple karmic masculines involved here too. Heavy mask, heavy karmic masculine energy. So I wanted to. Uh, for some of you divine feminines, you have a king of pentacles that's going to take action towards you or that was taking action towards you. And there's a lot of manipulation here surrounding this. Even the sun is eclipsed by the moon here. It's like somebody tried to trap him in between or something like that. Okay, so there could be a divine masculine underneath heavy spell work here. They tried to trap him in between. Divine feminine, your magician energy came up right underneath you. But this Knight of Pentacles and these two moons, this is supposed to be a sun. It's like this masculine is right here in the middle in this Knight of Pentacles energy. He can't budge. He's already in a slow, delayed energy. And you put the King of Pentacles here. It's like somebody wanted to make sure that this masculine would never step up for you. That was a goal here. That he would never step up for you, Divine Feminine. Not fully. Somebody didn't want you to benefit from something here. Or felt like you was taking away from them or something like that. It's like there was some kind of work here to stop this masculine from making moves. Somebody wanted, it's like this is an illusion that they tried to cast over a uh, a star seed here with the moon over the star. Tried to make it seem like you uh, walk in a dark energy or something like that. This masculine regrets this because even with the nine of cups, he's still holding his head. So we have the eight of swords up underneath this sun energy. Somebody broke free from whatever darkness this is. This could be this divine masculine. He broke free. He's breaking free from some kind of darkness here. With the sun and the eight of swords. You see the eight of swords? And she's literally loose out here, divine feminine. And then we have judgment here. Scorpio, Sagittarius energy. These people are being judged. That's why they're pissed off at what they did. They regret what they did here. Somebody's being judged. This divine masculine regrets what he did here. It's like he could see clearly now. And now he's in regret. Divine Feminine went to Four of Swords and the Ten of Swords. You went through a lot. 
Okay, your faith was tested here. Like everything was tested here at the brink of just losing it, losing your mind, being so stressed out, being so drained. Like just, you could have you could have prayed to get this pain off of you, Divine Feminine, of what you went through here. You could have felt like you were dying inside because of what you went through. Your heart literally had to recover from this situation. And it's like you had to do this by yourself. This masculine was no help during this. He was the one bringing the pain. And why I'm getting like divine feminine, even when you would try to talk to this masculine about what you were going through, how you felt emotionally, this masculine could have became like, became like very mean. Cause this is a divine feminine that had to heal in process by herself. The sun, moon, and the stars are here, Divine Feminine. Okay? So, honey, we talking about big energy. Okay? You are it. Look at that. High Priestess and the Eight of Wands and the Devil. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody wrote down a whole bunch of stuff here. Spells, chants, something like that. This is some nasty energy that was sent to lock the doors of a twin flame union or a soulmate union. Lock it long enough for this masculine to sign another contract. High Priestess in the Eight of Wands. Okay, strong Pisces energy. And then look at this devil energy. This high priestess is up underneath this uh, three of swords. Somebody could have like an animal heart or something like that. Divine Feminine, you could, okay. I'm picking up this a couple of ways. You could have intuitively felt like um, somebody put a blockage on this masculine's heart chakra. You could have felt like somebody was playing. You could have felt like this man was playing with your heart. You could have felt like there was something going on where somebody else was pulling the strings when it came to like heightened emotions or emotional situations. This man could have became emotionally unstable. You could have felt like you could have felt like this union's pathway at one point was clear, then all of a sudden everything is in the way. Everything and everyone. This eight of wands up underneath this four of wands. Somebody then, it's like divine feminine. Eight of wands talks about quick changes as well. And somebody could have thought that this divine masculine was changing ever since he went into union with you. Divine Feminine, there's a lot of, we have 8-8 eight, eight here. There's a lot of um, energy being directed here. What is going on? Knight of Swords. So we got the Knight of Swords up underneath this Nine of Cups. Okay, so, oh, wow. Sheesh. We got the Knight of Swords. We have the Five of Swords at the bottom. This is underneath this very much so disappointed Divine Masculine who thought the grass was greener and it was not. He thought this karmic contract was a wish fulfillment and it was not. And now this Masculine constantly finds himself in a position where he's always fighting, always arguing, very much so stressed out, having a lot of tension headaches. Look, and when this Masculine is fighting, he's fighting multiple people multiple karmic feminines and there's multiple karmic masculines here there could be like six people here whoever this karmic lover is anytime her and his masculine get into something this is someone who brings in other feminine female karmic attachments with the five of swords and the five of pentacles it's like this group of Feminine karmic attachments, female karmic attachments. With the Five of Pentacles here, every time it's like this karmic contract is about to go out the window here with this Five of Pentacles, 
These women here, these karmic feminines show up and argue with this masculine. It's like it's always them against him. It's like they're there to keep him in check or something like that. Five of Pentacles at the bottom says it could be depressed, feeling without. Somebody's very insecure here. Whoever was doing this spell work, this person is very insecure because the spell work is not working at all here. Not anymore. This person is pissed off. Something was supposed to create some kind of situation for Divine Feminine and it didn't work. It didn't work. So I could definitely be doing something with animals here. Let's see. I tried to keep this masculine in some kind of mental bind or something like that. All right, let's see what else is going on. Because, child, what is going on over here with this Four of Swords and this Ten of Swords and Divine Feminine? What is happening? The moon over there, too. We have a new world order and we have runaway. So for some of you divine feminists, there's literally a cult involved here. A group of people. Somebody has to run away from a group of people. This masculine may end up having to run away from a group of people. He could be in a cult, in a religious group, or in some kind of group that he gets money with and he thought that he was going to have success being with this group. That could be the group of these male karmics here on this second um, row here, but he ended up in the Five of Pentacles. And these male karmics definitely had a lot to say about Divine Feminine. Somebody had a whole list here. What else? We have an affair. Child and a man-made disaster. Okay. Okay. So we have an affair and a man-made disaster. And we also have assassination here at the bottom. So Divine Feminine... For some of you, somebody literally made up a major issue between you and this divine masculine. Somebody could have lied and said you were having an affair. Is it whatever it was? It was def definitely to assassinate your character with assassination here, and it was a male. Like I said, there are karmic males here, all on this second row. It was a male. This person created a disaster. Divine feminine. This could you could um. If you think back to, for some of you guys, where this part resonates, to a major disagreement that you and this masculine had, um, for some of you guys, this masculine kind of straight up accused you or said something like that, or this masculine never fully said what it was, but, all, but yet it was clear to you that something had changed the way that he views you. Look at this. We have mountains, surveillance, and we have a motel hotel. Now, this affair card literally has a picture like these people are inside of a hotel. These people are literally inside of a hotel. Now, we have mountain surveillance and a motel hotel. Mountains talk, talk about challenges. We over here by this masculine with this, um, this karmic masculine with this giant scroll. Somebody could have said that they seen you at a hotel. Signaling somebody or something like that. My nose hurt. Not hurt. Why I say my nose hurt? My nose is itching. Sheesh. Somebody's nose could hurt. <laughs> Somebody could get punched in the nose. All right, let's see. Somebody said they saw you doing something or they had proof that you were out here in Ten of Swords energy towards this masculine. So I tried to assassinate your character with lies. Somebody could have also said that um, maybe you used to be a working girl or used to be in the hotels all the time or something like that. We have trapped. And we have accomplice. Okay, partner in crime and frozen. Okay, cut through spirit. Whoever this uh, karmic king of wands is whoever that is in there in this karmic um masculine that is also in this seven of pentacles energy 
These people got caught. These people either got caught in some kind of legal issue and they're going through that with mountains, surveillance, accomplice, partner, motel, hotel. Somebody could have been breaking the law at a hotel or doing something like that out of state or something like that. These people got caught. Yeah, they were traveling. Look at this. Frozen. Look at this. Frozen travel. Treason. Come through. This masculine feels like these, this divine masculine feels like these karmic masculines uh, committed treason against him. And they have been caught assassinating your character here, divine feminine. And they were helping. Somebody had an accomplice here. This masculine feels like somebody helped him get trapped in this karmic situation that he's holding his head, trying to figure out how he's going to get out of this. It looked like a wish fulfillment, nine of cups, but it's not. Child, what else? These people are something else. Okay, we have gift, and this is underneath this magician energy, divine feminine. If somebody thought they were going to trap you, they had the next thing coming. Because even with government showing up at the bottom, I'm, I'm hearing that your governing party, your governing angels, your governing spirits, divine feminine, you're just surrounded here. Somebody didn't realize your gifts. They didn't know you were in this magician energy, that you're an excellent manifester. Okay? They didn't know that, child. <laughs> and now they're over there regretting this. And with that five of swords and knight of swords showing up, these people are fighting and arguing with each other. About this endings energy. These people are jealous. This is a lot of conversation back and forth that was happening in secret about you, Divine Feminine. As these people sat here fighting, arguing as to why, why you're still here, why you are healed, why are you still doing the things that you're doing? Because y'all are duds. You're pathetic. That's why. Because you only eclipsed your own son. We have a timeline issue. And we have desert. I cannot. <laughs> and then I have black male. Child, listen. And this is underneath this moon energy where this karmic is so mad that she's screaming at her fellow alchemist, occultist, as to why this dark, aggressive energy isn't working against you. Because you got all these angels up here and this star energy, divine feminine. Of course, it wasn't going to work. This person is pissed off. These people, it's like... <laughs> They sent this energy into a black hole that just opened up right back at themselves. Something was wrong with where this energy was sent. Okay, Divine Feminine, or these people, these people sent it to you. And it's like your, your angels just flipped this around. It's like they sent this to the wrong timeline, Divine Feminine, and, and it was nothing there. So it just boomeranged back to them with this timeline issue and desert. Whatever energy this is that these people sent this way and didn't realize you were in this magician energy, not knowing you tap into that energy, whatever you feel, actually just happens automatic for divine feminine. Because intuitively you start to pick up these things. So it's like subconsciously you start doing things that are very protective. And then many of you divine feminines, because you are very aware of yourself and you know yourself. So you manifest intentionally with intentions these people were coming after you and it's like they got the timeline all wrong they got your energy all wrong what i told you divine feminines like <laughs> the divine be putting you through portals god be moving you around energetically divine feminine through portals so they would never have your timeline they would never know where you are within the 5d they would never know they found Nothing, and because they found nothing with this timeline issue in desert, 
it's like whatever entity this is, it's like it's blackmailing them. That is hilarious. There's a whole community of people that have to consistently give to, it's like they have to give. If this isn't an entity that is forcing them to give to them, somebody's being like blackmailed by an occultist. Didn't even realize they binded themselves to an occultist. This is like the occultist saying, bring me my bag of money. For some of you, yeah, they trapped themselves with one come through spirit. Didn't even, didn't even see all that. Look at this. Okay, we got trapped, blackmail. Give me my bag of money. Somebody can't stop giving an occultist money. They tried to fire the occultist with fired being here. And the occultist, give me my money more. This occultist isn't playing with them. Somebody is literally traveling I don't know why I'm getting it. Somebody's traveling overseas to, to go to war with their occultists. Okay. Oh, we. Child, this is messy. Okay, let's get three more of these because there is a karmic here who fell out with the occultists. And uh, this person is now going to another occultist to try to get the occult, the original occultist off their back, child. <laughs> Hilarious. Didn't I say they was trapped? Boy, I'm trying to tell you. Kidnapped? Mm. Didn't I tell you? They trapped themselves. Ooh, Lee. But look at that. Oh my goodness, this card won't let me pick it up. Hold on. Okay, look at that. We got death energy, Scorpio energy. We got kidnap, death energy. Underwater. We have a deep fake, mental health, <laughs> child, aliens, and God. Look at God. Look at God. These people are child. These people came to attack your energy. And then it's like divine feminine. They came for you and nothing was there. There was nothing there for them to attack. It's like whoever these karmic attachments are, if this isn't two witches within the same coven warring at each other. Okay. Ooh. That's what I was picking up on earlier. It's like two karmic witches are warring with each other and all of this popped off because of this chaotic spell work they were sending your way see you were out the way see god moved you out the way like when i said look at this underwater divine feminine okay you part of the mermaid tribe for real god moving you out the way you you are in atlantis okay when this energy came for you okay there was a doppelganger who got hit with this instead. Okay, with this deep fake energy. It's like God moved you out the way. Somebody tried to come get you. Oh my goodness. With this body double deep fake. For some of you divine feminines, Okay. Oh, wow, I've never gotten this before. These people, these, okay, what, this could be a karmic coven attached to a divine masculine, or this is just a coven attached to your family. Okay, like I said, take it how it resonates because this energy is coming in big so this could come from your family this masculine's family this karmic lover's family families combining forces to come after you could be this karmic lover's family and this um divine masculine's family they sent something towards you divine feminine and you weren't there you were protected god literally had you somewhere else had you somewhere with the mermaids literally with god underwater had you somewhere else what they found was a desert 
But one of these karmic witches, this person could be like your impersonator or something like that. This person got picked up instead. This energy went to them. It's like this energy went directly to them. Look at this. Body double, deep fake, kidnapped. The wrong person got hit. This person is trapped now. But it's not even really the wrong person got hit. It's wrong for them, but this is justice. This is justice. Because it was wrong for them to do this. Yeah, this was justice. Child, I cannot. And whatever endings, energy this is, with this death energy showing up, they got to deal with all this. It's like you got two karmic witches warring with each other. Oh my goodness, come through spirit. <laughs> I'm just picking up these cards. What did I say? This is justice. This is justice. Libra energy, come through. Child, I cannot. I can't. <laughs> these people are something else, child. They are getting karma. This is karma, okay? Like, literally, your doppelganger, your impersonator is doing spell work with one of your haters. Could be a karmic mother, sister, or something like that. Okay, you got karmic masculines here going through it as well. And it's like a coven has fallen out. And they are literally doing work on each other. Because one of them sent work your way. And it's like the work ended up going straight to the one that's impersonating you. That's oh y'all going to learn y'all going to learn and this masculine over here sitting in depression watching a, a group of of karmic witches a coven attack each other spiritually okay I just heard whoever the karmic lover is she's now talking to this divine masculine about being spiritually attacked which this divine masculine could have told divine feminine all this spiritual warfare that you're speaking of is nonsense. Nobody's doing anything to you. Now this karmic lover is saying somebody's doing something to her. It is her coven sister. They're in a spiritual war back and forth and now this masculine is caught up in the middle of it because the karmic had to tell him about this. But see, the karmic didn't tell this divine masculine where this energy was supposed to go directly. He could have overheard this Especially with the way this um, four of wands look, it's like somebody standing outside of a door. Could have gotten some kind of communication. Especially with the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Cups, uh, where this masculine is sitting. Somebody could have just came in and told him. Could be this other karmic in the midst of, of battle, in the midst of arguing, or something like that. Child, all right. What else is going on? Two of these, child, I cannot. Now they got hit trying to mess with you. Yeah, we have mischief. And we have acceptance. So this divine masculine accepted this deceptive energy. Thinking that he was going to benefit, he ends up in the five of pentacles. He had a choice with love being here and choice. With the Valkyrie energy showing up. And he stood, he still chose deceptive energy. That was his focus. Now this, this masculine is getting uh, what he was looking for. That's what he's getting. All right. Let's see uh, what else is going on here. Because it's the covens going, it's the coven of witches turning on each other for me. It's the one sending spell work towards you, Divine Feminine, and her, her karmic sister, okay? Or there could be a karmic sister involved, karmic mother, but their karmic sister, sister in dark magic, okay? That energy she sent towards you, it literally went to your doppelganger. And now they're fighting about it. They're going back and forth with each other about it. For some of you, somebody is literally at war with their um with the occultists and they need to go get another occultist to to free them from that occultist because they have to keep dropping off money and it is definitely justice with blackmail justice trapped justice 
kidnap justice. All this is justice for what they were doing because divine feminine, they didn't realize you were in this magician energy. You are amplified here. They look at these two, like they try to literally block out your happiness, block out your lifeline here. Look at this. We have mountain energy again. The, whenever you see mountains, this talks about major challenges, major obstacles. They tried to send mountains your way, Divine Feminine. And there are karmic masculines here. Some, one of them could be a warlock. Okay. Or knew about what was going on here. These people, even if they, uh, if these masculines aren't into spell work. They definitely created a lot of illusions through lies. And somebody paid somebody here to create illusions as well about you here. A lot of messages back and forth, text messages, communications. I was getting divine feminine on my reading yesterday that there was a divine masculine that kept waking up to a lot of messages about you. Yeah, these people were sending, look at this, this devil energy at the bottom along with this mountain energy. So you had obstacles just coming up one after another. These people wanted you to, just like most multiple obstacles being sent your way. Somebody tried to kidnap your essence or something like that. They didn't expect for you to have your light here, Divine Feminine. This is like somebody tried to put your light out with this dark energy here, with this devil energy. Somebody tried to literally put your lights out here. Because you come with so much light. They wanted you to be in darkness. Somebody wanted you to run to darkness for help. Because it's like somebody could have made some kind of deal with something here. Because I'm also getting that for some of you guys, there is like some kind of um, like entity that has grabbed the hold of your doppelganger here or something like that because they were promised something here. It was promised your light. And now they have to keep paying or something like that. Somebody has to keep paying the devil, a devil serving a cultist, something like that be a Capricorn here a lot of challenges these people are going through many challenges somebody could be going through legal issues here somebody could have health issues here blood issues organ issues so I could be hiding there's definitely somebody hiding some kind of condition here this person feels like this condition manifested through spell work this person regrets this a lot of exchange here divine feminine i said this in a reading before a long time ago it's like your name is a taste bud in these folks mouths whoever this is these karmics are because i got one two three karmic masculines and i got possibly four karmic feminines here so definitely a lot of karmic attachments a large karmic group something like that yeah, they took a risk with this dice energy. And they tied themselves up in a knot. What I say? Same energy. Look at this. Trapped in a karmic cycle. This divine masculine caught himself trapped in a karmic cycle. That's why he looking like that. I just heard you wanted, you got it. You wanted, you got it. This masculine thought this was the nine of cups. Forced endings, did things to sacrifice a divine contract. And now it's like you want it, you got it. This masculine finds himself trapped. This masculine is going to have to pay up to get out of this. When this karmic cycle, this masculine is trapped in here. Many obstacles. It's like divine feminine, whoever this divine masculine is, he'll be able to get out of this. But he's going to have to make major sacrifices. And with two mountains showing up here, that mountain energy and the devil, he is going to have to step outside of his comfort zone. That's for sure. Smashlin needs perseverance. 
he is going to need to do a lot of shadow work. There's going to have to be a lot of personal growth. Once this masculine does all these things, he will be able to break free from this energy. But until then, this masculine is knotted up in this karmic cycle. And he is unhappy. What else? We have good health. And we have thorns. Somebody wanted to attack someone's health here. I know why I'm getting the throat chakra. This uh, good health energy is underneath this violent Knight of Swords energy, this bloody Knight of Swords energy. So Divine Feminine, you kind of felt like you and this masculine, you guys, union was in good health. And it's like these people were like thorns. Cause you have karmic cycle here, you got thorns here, you got good health here. Then you have all of these messages. Constantly sending messages about you, Divine Feminine. These people are trying to put blindfolds on this masculine. This masculine's blindfolds will come off. Child, let's see what else. My goodness, we already 51 minutes in. Time be flying, y'all. <laughs> Look at that. We have Divine Timing and we have Hitting. Okay, so within time, within divine timing, the truth reveal, revealed itself. These are people who are very jealous. These were hidden enemies that this masculine denied existed. Child. The truth revealed itself in divine timing. Ooh, we. Death energy here twice. Somebody could hear about a kidnapping on the news. These people created a lot of disasters in this union, Divine Feminine. These karmic males and these karmic women. Okay. All right, let's see. Give me the hidden and divine time. And what was revealed here? What was revealed here? Within timing, within divine timing, a forced marriage, loss of freedom, excessive interference. So this masculine found out about how these people were interfering. Child, what else? What else was hidden here? These people were constantly talking, trying to find ways to, it's like, and here go this masculine asking for help from enemies. We have seeking help and we have this kiss energy. These people directed this masculine somewhere else. Somewhere where love was unrequited. So that is, and it's like this masculine was promised some kind of happiness with the nine of cups, but it didn't work out for him. Why is this force? What what kind of interference is this? Somebody seemed like somebody pretended like they were helping. Yeah, we got the nurse overcoming obstacles. Look, this is about obstacles. We got a nurse and overcoming obstacles. So somebody was pretending like they were helping. So this masculine is seeking help. This masculine went to somebody for help with a divine contract. For advice when it comes to you, Divine Feminine, or they, or somebody showed up acting as if they could help. That there was something this masculine had to act on quick. This person was, whoever this is that um, pretended like they were helping this masculine, this is one of the um, occultists. This is one of the karmics that dabble in spell work. Because this person is afraid because of what they did. We have fear. This person is afraid. We have patience in reverse. And we have apothecary, dark side of a human. This person tried to come off as trustworthy with trustworthy and wise being here. And whole time this person, it's like they could have been gathering information or something like that. This person wanted to... Um, 
It's like they needed information to fine tune some kind of spell work or something like that. This masculine realized that who he was talking to for assistance, for advice, that these were people that were creating deception, assassinating your character, creating obstacles. What's the devil in these obstacles? Somebody definitely was sending dark energy your way, Divine Feminine, and especially these obstacle energies. So we have dream in reverse. Divine Feminine, this could have been revealed to you intuitively. Or these people tried to come after you in the dream state. Didn't I say that it's like the most high grabbed you and you weren't you weren't even there? You weren't even there. And then it ended up going to your doppelganger. How about that? How about that? Just pathetic. Look at this. Confession of love and a fake death. These people thought, whoever this karmic lover is, she felt like if she could get you out the way aggressively with this tie ball energy, that this would open up the pathway for her contract to permanently stay in place. Somebody was hiding this for this karmic. Could be one of these karmic masculines here. Just with this fake death, death energy. Somebody really thought they ended you, Divine Feminine. Spiritually, mentally, emotionally. They thought they ended you. misunderstanding and land of love in reverse somebody could be telling this masculine could be telling this karmic like i don't love you or something like that what's this karmic cycle and it's risk what i just said fall in love in reverse this situation what i just say come through spirit <laughs> let's see what else yeah, masquerade ball and narcissistic. Somebody is a narcissist and they were hiding that. But it's masquerade ball and narcissistic. But now this is revealed here. One, these karmics, see, they playing with things that they don't understand. And they're narcissistic, so they're not even going to hold back from what they're doing. And now they have to pay for this. That's why they're in fear. What else? It's this risk in this karmic cycle. This masculine is in this karmic cycle and is upset. We have loyal in reverse. Okay. So this masculine was betrayed. Let's see what else. And now we have social events in reverse. Definitely giving me Virgo energy. And we have solitude at the bottom. More Virgo energy, hermit energy. This masculine is pulling back from all of these people. There's a marriage that could be falling apart here, or somebody tried to force this masculine to pull back from a marriage. Somebody could have tried to seduce this masculine to keep stepping forward towards seduction. Child, <laughs> I just can't. Let's see what else is going on. Okay, let's see. You guys, thank you guys so much, premium members, for being a premium member. Okay, this video is for you guys. Got Ace of Wands. So we got new beginnings here. But we also have Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. So whoever this Divine Masculine is... He's, he just wants to be single. Even if he's in this Five of Pentacle energy, he don't care. This man wants a brand new beginning. What else? Eight of Swords. Yeah, this man wants to be free. He realized how these people trapped him. Ace of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords twice. Child, I cannot. <laughs> Let's see what else. Hangman energy. Okay, strong Pisces energy. And the chariot. The chariot talks about overcoming obstacles. This divine mass and cancer energy. Pisces, cancer. A lot of moon energy here. A lot of work was done here. 
This masculine will ultimately overcome these obstacles, but he will have to sacrifice a lot. With that five of pentacles, nine of pentacles here, this for this new beginning, he's going to end up having to leave this nine of pentacles behind. And that's what has him trapped in his mind here. As far as staying for as long is the condition that he's going to be in once he separates himself. This masculine knows that he will be in the five of pentacles energy. Somehow this masculine is like this, whatever it is that this masculine did with these people, he tied himself up to these people. He tied himself up to these people. So coming out of this situation, this masculine is going to be in the five of pentacles energy. But he will come out with the chariot being at the bottom. Okay. So let's see. Um, trying to find my zodiac cards. Where are they? So let's see what zodiac signs are relevant here. All right, let's see what zodiac signs are relevant here. This could be your sign, Divine Feminine. This could be Divine Masculine sign. This could be one of the karmic signs. So let's see. All right, let's see what signs. Okay, we have Pisces, Aquarius, Leo. Ooh, too many cards. I'll take this one. We have Sagittarius, double Sagittarius, so double Sagittarius, November 5th, November 9th, November 23rd, September 23rd, September 5th, September 11th, September 15th, 41, 11, 11, May 9th, May 23rd, May 11th, May 15th, could be significant here. What other signs are significant here it could be your sign divine feminine it could be divine masculine sign it could be one of the comics sun moon rising venus north node okay double on the leo energy what else virgo energy okay i think we're looking for one more and then one at the bottom so double sagittarius double leo aquarius pisces virgo we got two here capricorn and Aries and Libra at the bottom. Okay, so there could be a Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Seventh House Placement. Okay, you guys, like, whew, that was like the most. Like, I cannot believe. <laughs> I am, I am getting blackmailed by the occultist that you hired. Okay, this is just ridiculous, you guys. So, okay, you guys, thank you guys so much for being signed up to my website. This is a special video for you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.